Hello, my name is Giuliano, and I am the face behind the green bum here on Instagram. Today, I'm going to teach you how to turn this into this, into this, and lastly, into, uh, hold on, this. With this video, I want to better inform you of reducing and reusing within this hobby of ours. Today, we're going to be reusing these Lekka pellets and also the sphagnum moss that I've been collecting from previous plants. The main tool that will help us disinfect these growing mediums will be this induction cooktop, as it uses way less energy in comparison to an electric stove and more environmentally friendly compared to a gas stove. Let's start off by boiling this pot of water. Within a minute, the water has been brought to a boil. Now we're going to introduce the Lekka pellets for about 30 minutes. This will help remove any excess debris from packaging, or if you are reusing these Lekka pellets from previous projects, it will help remove any fungus or diseases to help prevent anything from being transmitted to new plants. Did you notice that nothing was burning once it landed on top of the cooktop? This is because it uses electromagnetic radiation, making it a lot easier to clean up spills when cooking is done. Well, in this case, gardening. And now we're going to strain out the water and let it cool down before use. Now we're going to do the exact same thing with sphagnum moss. Yes, you could buy these easily at the store, but it is best to use as many times as possible since it's a type of moss being harvested, causing deforestations in their ecosystems. While these are cooling down, check out the website switcheson.org as you can receive a rebate up to $300 for a brand new induction stove. If you happen to have an electric or gas stove and want to switch over, check out the website as well to help you find out what your next steps are to make your home better for you and your loved ones. Now that the growing medium has cooled down, we can get to the fun stuff. If you happen to have a favorite plant in your home that you want more of, take a pair of scissors and cut off a healthy contender. Then, grab your sphagnum moss and squeeze out all the excess water. You want it to be damp, but not soaking wet. Now, get a container of your liking, something preferably without a hole, add sphagnum moss, then your cutting, and then add more sphagnum moss around the cutting to keep it stable. In about a month, you will have something similar to this, a cutting full of roots. And now we could transfer this cutting into LECA. Add a layer of LECA at the bottom of your vase, then your cutting. Take mental note of where that cutting ends because you do not want to fill up water past that area. And now that you got this in the bag, you could do it to all your other house plants. Just be sure to boil your medium before reusing again, just to prevent anything from passing from one plant to another. My personal experience with the induction cooktop was an eye opener as it was not only energy efficient, but it was also time efficient. It was really easy to use and safe to the touch when it was on, and especially easy to clean. Who doesn't love it when it's easy to clean?